They knew this shit better line. I'm posted to give me some wind and some wine. And I need me my Rex. Give me some wind and some wine. And I need me my Rex. Yo, 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 what's up, guys? It's Erpa here. In today's video, I will show you guys how to do that crazy painting effect. You actually don't need to mask anything in this tutorial, and I'm saying that because I know that a lot of you guys are worried about that. But other than that, the only plugins you will need for this tutorial is the soft plugins. And yeah, drop a like, hit that thick, juicy subscribe button, and let's get right into the tutorial. So basically you want to start off by just syncing up your clip with the music and adding a velocity but you need a pretty special velocity because it's important that the velocity doesn't have any pre-slammer. So I might show a really cool transition that works really good with this effect. Basically right click on the clip and press V turn curve like this and this should pop up. Then press on this like arrow point it down and make sure that the only thing ticked is V turn speed. By the way if you can't see these controls above then you might have to zoom in a bit. Then basically you need to click on this line that should appear and go to the shot frame pack. The shot frame pack is the first frame you see these like red and yellow dots. As you guess right there. Basically when you are there go 3 frames to the left so 1, 2, 3 and press on this keyframe dot in the right corner. Then basically from here go about 6 frames to the right 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah you can go maybe 10, 4, 6, 10. It's really up to you just go a bit to the right add another keyframe drag it up all the way to 300% and then go to the last keyframe and go about 5 frames to the right 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 add a keyframe dragged up to about 180% and drag this last part down to maybe like 40% just to create this nice slurmer. And this is basically how it should look. It's not the best velocity but it's pretty clean. Now we can basically close out of the return curve and we can basically start with the effect. We're gonna start off by basically painting your shirt and you literally don't need to do it any masking basically what you're gonna start with doing is go to the first frame where you see your shotgun pull out so for me it's somewhere here but since the shark is kind of blocked by this wood piece i'm gonna go to that frame where you can't see that wood piece so here we see it here we don't see it anymore so this is a good frame when you found that frame make sure to press ctrl b to split the clip right there then basically you want to go to where your shotgun points kind of right up in the air so somewhere here we see the shotgun points right up in there split the clip there again by pressing ctrl b and then you want to go to the frame where the shotgun kind of point forward and split it like this and you basically should have three cuts like this but now it's basically where the fun part starts you're gonna take this first part we cut it out and drag one layer up like this Press Ctrl R on it, zoom in until you can see the small arrow pointing down and make sure that you are on the first frame of the clip and press freeze frame like that. Then you can basically drag it shorter so it fits in in this small part right here and drag it in like this. And you should see if you play it back that it should be kind of a uh, stutter since it shows only one frame. Now we're basically gonna do the same thing to second clip, drag it up only, press Ctrl R, be at the first frame of it. Press on this arrow, press freeze frame, and then make the clip shorter again. Uh, so it basically fits in in this small part again. Now for this last part, I actually forgot that you have to also make a split on the shot of impact. So basically do that real quick, press Ctrl R on the shot of impact. And now this part we just cut out, you're gonna drag it again, one lay up, Ctrl R, press on this arrow, freeze frame, when you're on the first frame of course. Drag it shorter and drag it down like this. And now if we look it back, it should already kind of look clean. I see guys it looks like it's like 2 FPS or something but it's pretty cool in my opinion. But now it's basically when we will start painting. Basically how to start painting is this first clip we cut out, right click on it and press open in fusion page because that's what we got to do. Then basically press on the medium, press control space and switch up just paint. Like this is the normal stock down into your soul paint no plugins then you should see this pop up change the color to red or pretty much any color you want your main character to be i usually take red then you're gonna open brush controls drag the softness to zero or the lowest and drag the size to about 0 0.070 or 60 something like that is what you like prefer then basically to start easy that you just gotta start painting your shark to like this. Make sure that it doesn't need to fill in all the spots. It's just clean if you don't fill in all the spots in, on your character. Do it kind of fast like this how I'm doing as you guys. So I actually think this is enough. And basically when you've done that, we're gonna start painting your enemy. 
and you can do basically whatever color you want but i'm gonna probably make the color black just make the color black and start painting the your enemy i mean like this and it should look pretty good like this looks pretty cool but now when we're basically done with that we also need to add a preset to make the background darker how to do that is go down in the description in the description you should find the google draw folder and in that google draw folder you should find a preset called bgccrp basically just on that and drag it in like this but it's important that this hue saturation node is before the paint so over here to the left and then you will see that you can start seeing the red then basically you can go back to the edit tab and it should already look pretty clean now what you basically gonna do is you're gonna do the same thing to these two second clips that are left i'm gonna do that real quick right now and then i'll see you guys So like this, I'm basically done right now. I can quickly show you how it looks for me. Pretty clean in my opinion. But now it's basically time to add extra stuff like the newspaper border as well as the zoom in. For the newspaper border, you need to go to the same gold ruffle. Then in that gold ruffle, you should find a video. Basically just drag that newspaper video on like this. This video will be pretty long. As it goes, the first section will just be weird. So you just got to scroll until the newspaper stuff pops up. Then you basically just want to cut out the newspaper so it is as long as the three clips that you painted. Basically when you've done that you can hover over the newspaper video and go to the fusion tab. Inside of here you're gonna press on this kind of circle with four dots and you will see that there will kind of be a circle. Then basically you want to drag this border until it becomes kind of an oval like this. Then you want to press invert as will invert it like this and then make the soft edge quite high like this you will need to play around with this until you find something that you think will look clean but i think this will look clean so i think this looks clean but now we're basically gonna add the zoom in how to basically do that is go to effects and you're gonna adjustment clip and make sure the adjust clip ends on the shot of impact make sure that you don't make the adjustment clip shorter because that will mess up the preset we're gonna use so drag the whole adjustment clip and make it to the end of the shot of impact then basically just hover over the adjustment clip and go to the fusion tab and then in the single draw folder all the other times you should find a preset called twist plus pre-shake with two rp that's for the second version that's just if you want to pre-shake or if you just want to twist then take the twist v1 rp preset i'll probably take the v1 so basically just don't move whatever you think and drag them like this you will need the staffer plugins for this then basically go back to the edit tab Right click on the adjustment clip and press friendly cash color bit to reduce the light. Then you can make the adjustment clip shorter a bit if you want. That's basically it for the build up. Now we just got to add the impact. Same thing, drag in the adjustment clip from the effects tab. Make it so it starts at the shot of impact this time. Then basically just tower over the adjust clip and go to fusion tab. In single drop, you should find a preset called twist impact. Basically, just on that and connect it like this. It's just a really clean kind of twist impact. And this is basically what the final product should be. Pretty clean in my opinion. And if you think the same thing, please consider and drop a like. So subscribe and turn on the notable of that good stuff you already know. Other than that, use code YORP in the format and you should patch the gad. And see you guys in the next video. Bye.